will be occasions when you've got non-repetitive work that you want to be able to record very quickly with a single click. Uh, to do that, you can click on the Info tab down at the bottom here, Info. And there's an option in here, for instance, Auto Start on Click. So if we check that there, you'll notice what happens. The Auto down here turns green, right? And that means that as soon as you hit a particular element, it's going to start that recording of that uh, element. Right, so it's auto start on click. So we hit the start button to start the study. And the first element, by definition, uh, you don't have anything. It's just waiting for you to do anything. So let's say the operator now is going to get the work order. So they start getting the, get the work order. You touch the get work order. It instantly stops the previous element and starts a new one. So now is the time being accumulated against the work order, getting the work order. Now he starts walking to storage. We tap the walk to storage. It stops the get work order and moves on there. Now he's going to get a medium part, so we click on the get. Again, the clock is still running here. And then we hit the medium, that's when he starts it. So in this time, every time the guy, the operator starts something, you hit the button. So we click on the pack, now he's doing the pack. Now he's up, he finishes the pack, you hit the update order sheet, that's his next activity. Now this kind of assumes that you know what the guy's going to do next. And in some cases, that might not be the case here. So I can keep on going this, get work order, walk to storage. Now he's going to get a part. We see we think he's going to get a small part this time. So we select that, right? And then he packs it off. And then he updates the order sheet. And of course, when he finishes, you hit the stop to record the final entry there. So that is the, uh, the auto uh, with a... Um, that's the auto start on click. To turn it off, you do auto none, and it will turn it off again here, okay? Better option is to do the reverse. In other words, if you look here at the options here, you can see this option here, auto stop on click. Um, I tend to think this is a better choice because then you know what the guy actually did. So in other words, uh, you hit the button when the guy finishes. So it gives you the opportunity to see what the fellow is doing rather than auto start on click. You assume you know what he's going to do next. So I'm going to do an auto stop on click. And this time you can see the auto down here turns red because it's indicating it's an auto stop. Remember the auto start was a green like the traffic lights. Okay. So in this case, we hit the start button and the clock's running and we're waiting for it to do something. So now the guy does the get work order. So you hit the get work order. It puts that in moves on to the next activity and now you get a chance to see what the operator is actually doing uh, before you decide well he's now walking to storage when he finishes walking to storage is when you hit it and now he's getting a part and you can see what he's waiting for he's waiting for the let's say the medium part and as soon as he finishes that hit the medium it puts it in there now he's going to pack all right i hit that twice by mistake there and then uh, now he's going to uh, update the order sheet and then he goes back and he's now he's when he finishes the get work order, we hit the, we record that. If he does something else, obviously, maybe a delay. So a delay and he's waiting on orders, you can put that in there too, all right? When he finishes there. And then he would actually get the uh, walk to storage. He gets there. Now he's, he gets, he's getting the part. So you can ready for him and you click on the medium when he gets to it. And he puts that in there. And he packs it off, finishing the pack, hit that. And then update order sheet. We finish there, and then we hit the stop here. Now, in this case, the ending time, the last time, will have no particular activity associated with it. So it's a little different, but it, I think that may be a better way. I feel that's a better way for many people to use it. Hit the info and turn off the auto by auto none, and it'll turn it off again.